Hello everyone, this is Siddharthan. This is the sixth video in Python basics module in our machine learning course. So in this video, we are going to see what is meant by this if else statement and how we can use it in Python. Okay, so this if else statement is one of the basic things which we will start learning while we are getting started with programming. Okay, so the use of if else statement is that in some cases we need to perform or we need to run only a specific part of the code and we want to neglect a specific part of the code so for that purposes we will be using this if else statement okay so in this video i'll show you how you can use this if else statement in python and what is the syntax for it okay so first let's create a simple if statement simple if else statement so there are more complicated ways of uh, using the if else statement so let's start from the most basic one okay so let's create a variable called as a and let's say that a has a value of 30 okay let's say that b has a value of 50 okay so now given two values or given two numbers we need to uh, find which is the greatest number okay so for this purpose we can use a if else condition let's say that if a is greater than b we need to print that a is the greatest number okay now else we need to print that b is the greatest number okay so basically what we are doing is we are checking the condition so if a is greater than b so we will tell that a is the greatest number else so else condition is that b will be the greatest number so we will be printing b is the greatest number so it may seem very simple so this is just for demonstration purposes so when we are uh, using if statements there will be a lot of complicated places so but this basic knowledge is uh, you know important for us to do those complicated things so i'll run this so now it uh, prints that b is the greatest number because b is 50 right so now we can also do this in a different way where a is equal to let's say a is equal to int input enter the first number okay and B is equal to int input enter the second number okay now you can just copy this here so basically what i am doing is so in this case we have uh, given the value for a and b in this code itself but in this case we will ask the value from the user so when i use this keyword input so it will get the value from the user and that value will be converted to integer okay so now let's run this so when we run this so the user will be asked to give two numbers and the greatest number you know this uh, code tells us whether the first number is greater or the second number is greater let's say that the first number is equal to 150 okay i'm pressing enter so let's say the second number is um, let's say 100 so it obviously prints that the first number is uh, the greatest so here a is the greatest number because we have just used it so you can just put here that first number is the greatest okay in this case second number is the greatest so this is how you can get some values from the user and you can print which is the greatest number okay so let me print 16 here and let's print 20 so as you can see here the second number is the greatest so this is a simple way of using if statement okay so this is a simple method there is another thing called as else if condition so this is if else if and else statement okay so elif which means else if okay so the short form for else if is elif so let's say that we have three numbers in this case let's say that a is equal to 15 and 
b is equal to 25 c is equal to 30 okay so in the previous case we just add two numbers and we just wanted to check two conditions whether a is greater than b so if a is greater than b this code will be printed so it won't go into the sales condition so if this condition is proven wrong so this condition so sorry this statement will be printed okay so here we just have two conditions right but when we have three conditions or you know more than two condition we can use this yell if uh, statements okay and there is one important point to note here that if there is this if else pair so either one of this will be uh, printed so like uh, how can i say this is in no condition both of these statements will be printed okay so only this condition can be true or the else condition can be true never both the conditions can be true for a if else pair similarly in this case let's say that in this case we have three numbers and we need to compare these three numbers and print which is the greatest number okay so for this purpose we can use if else if and else statement let's say that if a is greater than b which is again greater than c okay so let me put it this way a is greater than b and it is also greater than c okay sorry okay so a is greater than b and it is greater than c so in that condition i want to print that a is the greatest number okay so now i want to have two other conditions now i should use if else sorry else if so else if so the keyword is l if so e l i f if hmm, b is greater than a and greater than c i want to print that b is the greatest number okay so and finally we have the else statement okay else print so if both these conditions are false that means c will be the greatest number so i'll mention that in the else condition so c is the greatest number so there is no need that you need to mention the condition for uh, else so if both these conditions are failed there is only one condition so that is that c is the greatest number so you don't need to mention the condition for else okay so here as i have told you earlier in this uh, you know triplet only one condition will be true either a is greater than b and c or b is greater than a and c or c is greater than a and c in uh, no cases two conditions can be correct or three conditions can be correct so in this triplet only one statement will be printed okay so i'll print this so it should tell that the c is greatest number okay so c is the greatest number so this is how you can use if else if and else statement so there is another method of or another variation of this uh, if else statement so it's called as nested if condition so nested if uh, let's say statement okay so nested if means using a if statement inside an if statement so that is called as nested if condition so let's say that similarly we have three values let's say that a is equal to 20 and b is equal to 40 and c is equal to 60 okay and let's say that if a is greater than b okay so i want to check which is the greatest number so what i will do here is first i will check whether a is greater than b so if a is greater than b i should check whether a is greater than c also okay so if a is greater than b i need to check that if a is greater than c also so in this condition a is the greatest number because it is greater than b and it is also greater than c so here i can print that a is the greatest number okay if this condition is false which means if a is greater than b but a is not less than not greater than c means c will be the greatest number so yes i hope you are getting what i am telling so print so in this case c will be the greatest number so c is the greatest number okay now so this is for this pair okay 
so this is what this if else is this pair and there is another if here so we here we are using one if else statement inside a if condition hence this is called as nested if okay so that is another thing we need to note here so if a is not greater than b or else if b is greater than a this condition won't be satisfied and these statements won't be printed okay so the interpreter control won't go into this statements so in this case else so else means if else here means b is greater than a okay so in that condition we need to again check whether b is greater than c as well so in that condition sorry if b is greater than c also we need to print that b is the greatest number okay and now we need to include another else condition so which means in this condition c is greater than c is the greatest number okay so so what we are basically doing is first we are checking whether a is greater than b so if a is greater than b we need to check whether a is greater than c also now i am checking whether a is greater than c if these two conditions are satisfied that means a will be the greatest number and this particular statement will be printed or else if a is greater than b but it is not greater than c that means c is the greatest among all the three numbers so in that condition i want to print this statement which means c is the greatest number then we have the sales condition where so when this condition will be uh, you know carried out is if this condition this if is false okay so which means if a is not greater than b or b is greater than a so it will go to this statement because it is unsatisfied so it won't go into this statements so the control comes here okay and check these conditions so now we know that b is greater than a right and now it should check whether b is also greater than c as well now it checks it if b is greater than c this line will be printed or else this line will be printed which is c is the greatest number okay so let's run this so we got that c is the greatest number because it has a value of 60 so this is a simple example for nested if statement where we use if statement inside an if statement so you can see here among this fifth line you know and tenth line so only one conditions can be satisfied and among this sixth line and eighth line only one condition will be satisfied okay so you would have noticed this indentation so when you mention a semicolon here in the if statement line so there will be indentation or space so we call this space as indentation so this is very important in the case of uh, these if statements and for loops and while loops okay so so this indentation means this particular uh, line of code comes under this if condition so this indentation means it comes under this else condition so whenever you use this colon here so there will be an indentation in the next line okay so in collab it automatically creates that indentation in some of the basic uh, python consoles you need to give that indentation or you need to give that space okay so these are some variations of if statements okay so we have seen a simple if else condition and then we have seen how we can use uh, the input feature to get the numbers from the user and print the greatest number and we have seen how we can use this else if condition by uh, get having more than two conditions then we have finally discussed about the nested if statement where we can use a if statement inside an if statement so that is all about the if else statement so i hope you have understood about this i'll see you in the next video thank you